Hello and welcome back and we are going to, having just finished up with some of these duos playthroughs, we're going to play the next in the Dream Team ones which I believe is just called Wolf. So, uh, and that's CG444s and I believe he's on Petty's plot which is the one I ended up on. Um, and I can't remember which, is he on Scottish's team? Oh, always pleasure. Um, yeah, I think he's on Scottish's team. Which would make sense because on Petty's bottom, I think we've already seen Heisenberg from Matty's, mine from my team, obviously. Um, this looks closer to Heisenberg's in terms of style, which makes me happy because I went a different route. Okay. Oh, we have done some splined walls. Okay. So this has much more in terms of amenities than mine does and it's got a giant hotel thing you're not first we've already had a cd smiley face going in there um so he put his clubhouse there reminder oh he put his driving range basically where i put mine fun oh no no mine's further this way similarly so petty's one you have the big wolf rock thing that you want to feature and then it was like trying to find the holes around the plot um he's gone with a very densely treed look kind of similar to the trees that were there already i think um and i thought a lot of this one came down to how you use those awkward ravines so we've got a bridge going through them which is fun i'm pretty sure heisenberg had exactly the same green he's had this as a path three i think oh we did go up there i was hoping people were going to go up to the crazy places on this plot yeah, so there's some really wild land movement on here that you could have taken on, or you could have done what I did and just kind of tapped around it. And we've got a cemetery. Or, no? I don't know what those are. I'm sure it's in the thread, I haven't read it. And then a load of grasses. Cool. Let's give this one a play. Okay, so we first tack around here. Teeny tiny bunkers, but everything kind of funnels towards them. Let's go around this way. Whee! Oh, I wouldn't do that. Oh, okay, so we've got spline bunkers as well. There's an added challenge. Nine nine to there. Could be it. That's not too bad. It sounds really quiet now, but because for these playthroughs I'm not doing music, so I like the ferns and just like yeah, it's really environment wise feels similar to Heisenberg's. Um if not quite as claustrophobic as his. Okay, so we're there. It's going to be loads of fun on plots that you've built on just working out where everyone else went. Oh, I like the... I really like this green side. I have no idea where that is. Wait. I'm going to have to keep leaping out and going through. Oh, that's up there. Right, okay. I didn't know where we are. That's a cool look. I, I like the rock formations short. This is a brutal bar four. Because I cannot carry that, I don't think. I don't think anyone can. Like, yeah, you're not getting close to carrying that. So then you've got 172, uphill 40. Yeesh. Um, there, maybe? I bet it was. I, I'm just going to take one extra club on top of what I think. Yeah, that is... That is a challenge. Interesting hole. Like, I can guarantee no one else is finding that hole. And it's quite cool. Yep, that sounds... That sounds like what that could end up as. <laughs> Brutal but interesting sounds fair. But it does get you up to here, which is cool. Let's a look. And hopefully holding the high side... Yeah, I feel that's a lot of slope. And oh my, okay. That is very much on the Augusta 15 scale of greens. Uh, I don't know if I've got this. 
I'm going to try it. I'm going to try and not get all of the shot. And therefore we don't go over. Oof. I mean, that, that's a wild shot. There we go. Take the eagle. <laughs> that's like that. Is it a Patrick Reed eagle on the whole 15 in that Masters that everyone hated? Because of, you know, Patrick Reed. Feels like that. I feel like I had a par 3 sort of near here. But, wait, no, this is the one where I... Oh, yeah, yeah, I had a par 3 nearish here. No, I didn't. No, this is the one where I tucked a par 4 down there. I remember. Yeah, we're asking a lot off the tee on this one, but that's okay. We can see if we can manage that. And yes, hole was too easy. All of the holes are too easy. Apart from holes one and two, they were not. Nice little view of the lake. So really taking the elevation stuff head on. Okay. And you could go for this. I did consider doing something like this, but I would have gone the fair way this way round. Uh, why not, I guess? It's up 29 feet, which means it's taking a fair amount off it. Let's just go for it. What's the worst that can happen as we go long? We'll have a little chip back. Yeah, it's always a few minutes late. And there. Mm. Yeah, there. No, it was not there. I don't think so. I. It's... Oh, wow. This is difficult as a course. Um, I kind of want to play down here just because I hate the look of the tee shot I'm about to hit. I've got no shot into this green if I do that, but I just don't see myself landing this. I'm just going to go right at the tree. And I hope... Oh no, it's more holdable than it looks. God, this course is scary. It's like you found the most death-defying places to put holes and just went with all of them. I did look at putting a par 3 up here as well at one point and then never really quite worked out the way to get back. Wolf is very appropriate, I agree. Yeah, huh? You think? Still, though, we're playing all right. This one feels slightly more sedate. Until you get to the green, and then the green is also mad. Um, actually, that's probably good, I think. If I'd got 100% of it. Although, who knows, given HP maths. Still, that would do. We're on, we're on track for our 9 under, at least. There's been a lot of side on greens. I know where we are on the plot here. Oh, the fast was not what I wanted. And now I've got a chip down. Oh. I do not trust my ability to do this. Now grab, and then hopefully the slope is all I need to do the work. Beautiful. Cool view of the lake, and you get to see the hotel as well. Do we go back? We do go back. Oh, he, got, he managed to make it get back at nine. I didn't do that. Mm, that 
that's not the shot. Don't be out of bounds. Yeah. I mean, I don't think three iron from this angle was the expected angle. Oh. It's okay. If we can make it out of this with a bogey, I will be happy. That's another ferocious pin. Getting closer. Fine. Bogey was the aim after that tee shot. This is fine. Okay, that's more accessible. Um, let's see. Down seven. Yeah, I think that's probably the play. Place that fast. I didn't quite get all of it. Turn in. Ah, oh, tiny bits off our usual night. Although I think this is one of the most difficult courses we've had so far. Definitely one of the most difficult. Oh, he's tree. Yeah, okay, go onto that tree. Uh, Woodhall Spa. I. Yeah, can we get to there? Go and hit a fade in. Oh, there's a shot. Oh, I was so pleased with that. That's fine. I'll take a birdie there. Uh, yeah, and I was meant to have Ross. Oh, I also did look at this hole as well. It's funny how you see other things. Or maybe not quite here, but something close. Huh. Really gone hard on the narrow greens. And hold on. Sort of, maybe. No. We'll take light rough, that's okay. I love that he shakes his head back on the tee where he can't see a thing about where that's gone. Pretty good. Nope. Not good enough. And grab. It's fine. Take that. Okay, needs to pick up three more. Two par fives, one other. Ah, we blame Matty. I guess this is a signature par three into the rock. Oh, sit hard. Oh, it's tried. Oh, it's done very well. That shot did not deserve that result. Okay, this finally looks like we've got a semi-forgiving hole. I'm just going to hit driver and did it badly. Exactly, Rory. There it is. No. Yes. Don't think that's high enough by a long shot. That's okay. After that tee shot, we'll take that. Okay, so now we play back out to the lake. Fine, got it. Probably it's just a five wood, but then I feel like this is more likely to gather. Okay, can take that. T 
two parts from there would be good. Just don't hit it too hard. Oh, I tried its best. Again. I am amazed we're at eight under. Aim at that little bunker on the right. Should be okay. So this is kind of where I have my ninth, I think. Except I kind of tacked around that way. I've played Formby. Formby is great. Kind of a spell in the middle of the back nine I didn't love. But um, made most of its class. It is a swale. And I think... Uh, is it? There was one swale that went right the way through the plot from where Petty had kind of not quite overlapped the two major rectangular... It is really tough, the two rectangular brushes you used to raise everything at the start. I did toy with using that in my ninth hole originally. Yeah, like, that pin's... tough. That could be it. Happy with that shot. Made our nine under. And we've got a closing par five. What's not to like? I mean, you say that, but then the bunkers... like It's just the land movement. The bunkers are very difficult to hit, he says, hitting the bunker. <laughs> it was too predictable, wasn't it? Oh, that went right. Exactly. It's fine, I don't need a birdie on this one. It's okay. Which is a good thing, because this pin is impossible. Um, flop wedge, 90 yards, maybe. Can't even see my guy. It'd be a minor miracle if this ends up anywhere near. Cleef Hill's fun. Um, oh, it was so close. Yeah, that's exactly how you play it. That was fun. Like, oh my god, it's a challenge, those first few. I think, like, interesting to see how Petty judges that one, because it's right on the edge with a few things. Um, but, like, clearly kind of scorable. So, yeah. And minus nine, obviously. That's the score we always get on Dream Team playthroughs. So everything is clearly the same difficulty, all of the courses. Anyway, that was a ton of fun. Um, between that and all of the other um, playthroughs, I think I am done for the night, which is good, because maybe tomorrow I can start with National Treasure. Um, although I might take a bit of time to plan that first. Anyway, good to see you all, and catch you again soon.